بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن والاه أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله We have the last few ayat that Imam Adawi رحمه الله تعالى mentions under the bab of المراقبه the chapter of مراقبه which is to observe Allah عز وجل to be aware that Allah is observing us or to be observant of Allah to be observant of Allah Azza wa Jal and to be aware that He is observing us. This is muraqabah. So the next verse, Imam Nawi rahimahullah mentions in this chapter is the saying of Allah Azza wa Jal إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَخْفَى عَلَيْهِ شَيْءٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي السَّمَاءِ Surah Ali Ibrahim, verse number 5. That indeed, لَا يَخْفَى عَلَيْهِ شَيْءٌ When it comes to Allah, nothing is hidden from Him. Nothing is hidden from him. Fil ard in this world, wala fi sama, nor in the heavens. Which means, Allah is telling us in this ayah that every single thing that takes place in this dunya and every single thing that is happening in the heavens, He is aware of it. He is knowledgeable of it. He sees it, and He hears what's happening. Nothing is hidden from Him. Again, this verse is. To tell us and show us the greatness of Allah, the greatness of His knowledge. And of course to make us aware that we are part of this, of this world. We and our actions, what we are up to and what we are doing is part of what's happening in this world. Hence it is not unknown to Allah. It is completely and well known to Allah. In Surah Al-Fajr, the next verse, Allah Azza wa Jal said, Inna rabbaka la bil mirsad. Inna rabbaka la bil mirsad. Which means indeed, your Lord, your Rabb, He is truly vigilant. He is taking note of everything. Nothing escapes His knowledge. Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhuma, the great Sahabi and Mufassir of the Quran, he said, what's meant by Mirsad? When Allah says, your Rabb is Mirsad, what's meant by this is, Yasma'u wa yara. This word means, your Lord is listening and is watching. Your Lord is Mirsad, which means, He is listening and He is watching. He hears every single thing and he sees every single thing. And the last ayah that Imam Anawi rahimahullah mentions is the verse of Surah Ghafir, Surah Ghafir verse 19, where Allah Azza wa Jal says, يَعْلَمُ خَائِنَةَ الْأَعْيُنِ وَمَا تُخْفِ الصُّدُورِ That Allah, he even knows the sly glances. خَائِنَةَ الْأَعْيُنِ Those deceitful glances. Of the eyes. And whatever the heart conceals. Whatever is hidden in the chest, in the heart. Allah knows all of this. Allah knows all of this. So whatever we believe, Allah knows whether it's sincere or not. Whatever we are planning, Allah knows exactly what is going through our minds. What's going through our hearts. The sincerity, the levels of love, of fear of hope that we have, Allah is aware of it all. So Ibn Kathir on this verse, he said, Allah Azza wa Jal is telling us, is informing us of His complete, comprehensive knowledge, which encompasses everything. Every single thing. And it is to warn us, to warn us about Him. To be fearful of him, because he is watching us. And the scholars, they said about this verse, خَائِنَةَ ayun. It means anything that is deceitful. So they said sometimes we look at something, and the way we look at it, we are not pleased with it. The people won't know when we are looking at them, we are not pleased with it, but Allah knows what type of glance you are giving, what type of looks you are giving. Allah knows when you're looking at haram. Allah knows when you're looking with an evil eye. Allah knows when you're looking in a way that's displeasing. You're judging others. It's something that people do not see. But Allah sees all of this. He knows this. This is khainat al-a'yun. He knows the deception of the eyes. He knows exactly what's happening when we look. What type of glances we are giving. So Allah is informing us in this verse, warning us to be people who are fearful of Him. To be people who are aware of Him. Not to be worried about people and others. 
Because we can escape the people, we can get away with people, we can fool people and we can deceive people, but we can never ever deceive Allah Azza wa Jal. We can never ever deceive Him because of His perfect knowledge. <coughs> and every attribute that Allah has is an attribute of perfection. So when we speak about His knowledge, complete perfect knowledge. When we speak about His sight, complete perfect sight. Nothing is missing, He doesn't miss anything. And the same with his hearing and his ability and his strength and his power and authority and every other attribute that Allah Azza wa Jal has. Perfection. So these verses are there to make us shy in front of Allah. That we become shy that Allah is watching me, I need to behave. So the person who is doing muraqabah, who is aware that Allah is watching him, will be shy. Just like we are shy in front of others. We do not want others to see us doing certain deeds that are haram. We should actually be on a level where we are shy that my Rabb is watching me. If I were to do this action, this deed, say this thing, watch this thing, listen to this thing, Allah is watching me, I should be shy of Him. This is why He's revealed this type of ayat. To develop our khashya, our fear, our taqwa, our shyness of Allah Azza wa And this is the benefit of muraqabah. Getting to this point where we acknowledge Allah is watching us, and we are observant of Allah Azza wa Jal. May Allah Azza wa Jal grant us understanding. And may He grant us to taqwa and khashya and muraqaba of His. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Shadu ala ilaha illa tasaghfiru ka wa atubu ilaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.